Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram. So you can see this is the beam loading shown at point A, B, C and D. So total length of the beam is 7 meter. So let's start the shear force diagram first. Now at point A you can see you have 20 kN load that is downward so it will be minus 20. Now moving from point A to B there is no other load so it will remain horizontal. At point B we have 46 kN load so minus 20 plus 46 is going to give you plus 26 so shear force will change from minus 20 to plus 26 let this point is plus 26 kilonewton now moving from point b to c there is no other load so it will remain same horizontal till point c and at point c you have minus 40 kilonewton load so now here plus 26 minus 40 will give you minus 14 so shear force will change from this 26 to minus 14 that this point is minus 14 kilo newton now from c to d there is no other load so it will remain same till end and at the end you can see you have plus 14 so minus 14 plus 14 will equal to zero so shear force will go to zero so this is your shear force diagram now moving toward bending moment diagram so first area under the shear force diagram is this one which will give you bending moment and this is rectangle so having area minus 20 into 2.5 which will give you minus 50 so first point at point b we will have minus 50 so this will be minus 50. now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line and slope will be decreasing the second area under the shear force diagram is this one which is equal to 26 multiplied by 3 and that will give you 26 multiplied by 3 give you 78 so minus 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 50 is plus minus 28 because we have minus 50 plus 78 is plus 28 so it will give us plus 28 so plus 28 is somewhere here at this point and again you can see that this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this area is positive so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so it will be a straight line if we join these two points we will get this now the last area under the shear force diagram is this area which is equal to minus 40 multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 28 so plus 28 minus 20 will give you zero at this point and again this area is negative so bending moment will be one degree and its slope will be decreasing so that is b and d bending moment diagram and this was all about how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram i hope you have enjoyed thank you